pristine, beautiful, an economic engine, high-tech, world-class bridges. One of the challenges for the residents in the Bay Area is traffic congestion, and one of the most congested corridors is Interstate 80. The I-80 corridor from the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge to the Carquinez Bridge has been one of the most congested freeways in the Bay Area for many years. Drivers experience significant weekday and weekend traffic delays in both directions, with the highest concentration of traffic in Berkeley between Gilman and Powell Streets. This segment experiences significant congestion every day of the week, all year long. Congestion on I-80 is a result of demands higher than the capacity, which creates stop-and-go conditions. The situation is compounded by vehicles merging onto the freeway and accidents. Accidents create more congestion, which in turn results in secondary accidents, and the cycle continues as vehicles queue up behind the initial accident. The I-80 freeway is supported by a network of parallel and crossing arterials. San Pablo Avenue runs parallel along the entire length of I-80. 22 cross streets, including University Avenue, Cutting Boulevard, and Richmond Parkway provide east-west movement and freeway access. A total of 135 traffic signals are along this network. Already, great strides have been taken to improve traffic flow and transportation services along San Pablo Avenue. Signal timing coordination and rapid bus service are two examples of technology currently in operation along the corridor. But more progress can be made by installing informational message signs, more signal coordination, and an expanded communications network to connect all cities along the corridor, traffic flow and multimodal services will become even more efficient. Traditional methods of congestion relief include adding more lanes to the freeway, improving the interchanges, adding more capacity so more cars and trucks can get through. Many of these improvements have already been implemented along the corridor. These solutions provide some congestion relief, but have potential significant impacts on the environment and require additional right-of-way, displacing residents and employers with more pavement, not to mention the cost. Freeway widening in this corridor would cost several million dollars per lane mile and would require decades to implement. Meanwhile, drivers along the corridor would still be stuck in traffic. Throughout the world and across the nation, Transportation is becoming more reliant on technological solutions to our traffic problems. New technologies can yield similar benefits as the more traditional solutions, but with far less environmental impacts. This, combined with improved transit services, can have immediate and lasting beneficial effects at a far lower cost while benefiting the environment. That is why operational improvements along the I-80 corridor are being implemented to improve traffic flow for the freeway and local streets and improve transit service, not to mention improve safety and reduce traffic congestion during an incident. The I-80 Integrated Corridor Mobility Project, or ICM, will apply new technologies and strategies for reducing congestion, expanding traveler information, and improving safety along the corridor. So what is ICM? It's not just one thing, it's many things working together. The major components are adaptive ramp metering, incident management, local street improvements, transit and traffic information, and system integration. Let's take a look at each of these. On the freeway, ramps connecting the arterial streets to I-80 are heavily used during the commute hour. Sometimes, too much traffic gets on at one ramp and the freeway backs up. That is why the I-80 ICM project includes ramp metering at 40 on-ramps. Ramp metering is more than just a traffic light. It's a way to make the freeway flow more evenly and improve the merging of vehicles onto the freeway, which reduces accidents and improves travel time reliability. Adaptive ramp metering is a proven traffic management tool that uses the latest technology to increase freeway throughput by spreading out platoons of vehicles entering at each ramp. Adaptive ramp metering signals operate as part of a coordinated control system, communicating with each other and working together to reduce the merging conflicts that can lead to accidents. 
The coordinated system works to distribute ramp delays across a number of on-ramps and balance flow along adjacent ramps. There may be times when the on-ramp wait time is a little longer. This means the ramp signals are working together to manage traffic flow. Vehicle detection loops installed under the pavement at the entrance to the on-ramp will monitor queue lengths. If the traffic demand on the ramp is high, these detection loops will send a message to the ramp meter to allow cars onto the freeway at a faster rate and prevent vehicles from backing up onto the local street. With the freeway flowing more smoothly, we can expect fewer incidents. But what happens when an accident does occur? Today, when there is an accident on I-80, traffic quickly backs up and drivers may not be aware of stopped conditions ahead. This leads to secondary accidents. Rear-end collisions are common on this corridor, with a higher rate of accidents in the westbound direction, between Cutting Boulevard and Powell Street. Incident management on the freeway involves providing drivers with real-time information to decide which route or transportation mode to use. Drivers will receive information on overhead message signs indicating downstream lane conditions, such as lane closure information, or suggesting reduced speeds on successive sign structures to slow down in advance of a backup caused by an accident. Variable speed signs will be installed in both directions of I-80, displaying advisory speeds during an incident to slow down traffic ahead of a backup. This will result in fewer rear-end collisions and smoother traffic flow. Local streets are impacted by freeway accidents too. Some drivers will exit the freeway and use local arterials to pass an incident and avoid traffic congestion. Drivers can only guess what their best alternate route might be, where the accident is located, and when to get back onto the freeway. Incident management on local streets involves the installation of informational message signs, also known as trailblazer signs, at major intersections along San Pablo Avenue to advise drivers of the appropriate point to return to the freeway when they have passed the freeway accident. Local drivers will also benefit by receiving this information before reaching the freeway. Along San Pablo Avenue and the connector streets, traffic signal timing will be modified with longer green times to move heavy incident traffic through the corridor more quickly and back to the freeway. This will also allow local streets to return to normal conditions more quickly than without these tools. Other enhancements will be made on San Pablo Avenue and other local streets. The I-80 ICM project will implement an enhanced traffic signal control system, traffic signal communications, vehicle monitoring cameras and detection to assist Caltrans with monitoring and managing traffic during an incident on I-80. This equipment will also be used by local agencies as well as Caltrans to optimize local street signal timing performance. This means that during normal conditions, motorists will enjoy fewer red lights. The I-80 ICM project will also enhance the transit signal priority currently being used as part of AC Transit's successful rapid bus program. Transit signal priority will also be implemented along several WestCat routes within the corridor. Currently, there is limited transit and traffic information being shared with drivers along this corridor. The I-80 ICM project will include information display boards to advise drivers of alternate transportation modes and downstream freeway conditions. Real-time information will empower motorists to determine whether to take a different mode, helping to alleviate congestion in the corridor. Adaptive ramp metering, incident management, local street improvements and transit and traffic information each of these elements can individually help to improve the safety and efficiency of the I-80 corridor. But to really make a dent in traffic, all of the elements have to work together through a fully coordinated plan. The last element of the I-80 ICM project, and a very important one, is system integration. The project elements will be tied into a communication network, allowing all operations to occur from a single system at Caltrans. Caltrans will implement and monitor the use of these devices during incidents and coordinate their actions with local agencies and the California Highway Patrol. Caltrans and the local agencies will be able to quickly share, manage and monitor traffic incidents immediately after they occur and coordinate their activities to manage incident traffic. The integrated network of project components will allow for a region-wide cooperative and coordinated traffic management system that will benefit local agencies and drivers within the region.
by providing the tools to reduce congestion and improve safety along one of the most congested freeways in the Bay Area.